Hey players, how you doing? Welcome to Player's Guide, your source for monthly retro gaming news. So here's the rundown for December. It wasn't the busiest month for retro gaming news. I suspect that that was because of the holidays and because a lot of game companies were trying to wrap things up with the end of the year approaching. So to kick things off in December, PlayStation announced their 25th anniversary. They didn't do a lot for this, but to be honest, this was the 25th anniversary for the console launching in Japan, which was before we got it here in North America. On that same note, new to the PS4 was Fight and Rage, previously released on the Switch already, so you might have played this game, but if you don't have a Switch, it's now available on your PS4 as of December 3rd. This is a throwback game to the arcade style of beat em up 1632 bits from the early 90s and late 80s that a lot of us retro gamers are a fan of, and it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. The next piece of news that Sony announced was the Resident Evil remake. This was announced during their State of Play where they showed us a trailer and it looked excellent. The remake of Resident Evil 2 went over really well with fans of the series. Game Box DMG Consolizer was announced. Now you can play all your Game Boy games in HD on a console which is really exciting for those of us who love 8-bit games, Nintendo, or the Game Boy, or all of those. That's something you're going to want to pick up. Right now, it looks like it's retailing for $100. They were taking pre-orders back on December 2nd when it was announced. Uh, but the site's still up, and it looks like the console is available. Yazzy, a new homebrew game for the MSX, was released in December. This is a single-screen arcade-style game where you avoid different enemies and projectiles, and you move up and down ladders. So if you're a big fan of a lot of the early 80s single-screen arcade games, you're going to like this one. Um, it's very colorful, and it looks like it's worth playing if you're a fan of the MSX. Um, now this is a console that doesn't see a lot of homebrews, at least not in comparison to a lot of the other more popular consoles like the Nintendo or the Sega Genesis. Now Nintendo announced a whole bunch of new games coming in 2020. And there's a fair amount of those that are retro stylized games, including Streets of Rage 4, which is scheduled to release in early 2020. Um, so the first three Streets of Rage games were released on the Genesis and um, are highly regarded amongst retro gamers. The third one, not quite as much, but it's still beloved by many fans of this series. Streets of Rage 4 uh, appears to have a little bit more of a modern style or art style to it, but it still looks true to the basic game mechanics of a beat-em-up. So we'll have to see how this one plays, but I do have high hopes for it. Sports Story was also announced to be coming to the Nintendo Switch in the middle of 2020. Uh, and this game is a spin-off of Golf Story or a direct sequel. I'm not exactly sure. Super Mash was another game that was announced for the Nintendo Switch coming in May of 2020. In this game, you take all of your favorite styles of different retro games and you mash them up all into one. So this game, it's going to be interesting to see if it has a physical or is digital only and what price point they choose. But it does look like a lot of fun because there's going to be something for every retro gamer no matter what your background is. Now the final game, and probably the one that most retro gamers are most excited for that was announced for the Nintendo Switch in late 2020, we'll see if they can hit that goal and get it out by then because I believe it is still at the end of development, and that is Axiom Verge 2. Axiom Verge 2, uh, it looks like it's going to play a lot like, if not the exact same, as the original Axiom Verge which is a good thing that they're not changing too much up with this game. So it looks awesome. 
If you know of any other retro gaming news that I was unable to cover or maybe missed during the month of December, please put a link or let me know in the comments below what it was. It would be greatly appreciated if you could share that with the retro gaming community that we have here on Player's Guide. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and tuning in. That's it. Stay retro.